guys i am back out today uh finally i had to take a little bit of time off because i had to get a tooth pulled and uh, i also had another battle with gout my feet are still just slightly sore but it's good enough i can get out today uh what i'm doing i'm gonna i'm in a in a real good bigfoot area that i know there's bigfoot roams through here pretty often so what i'm doing i am uh i got a game cam out here i'm gonna go switch the game cam out for another one and just explore we've had uh quite a bit of rain the last uh, well last night just evening and last night uh it's been real hot like in the 90s and anytime it's been real hot and it rains and it kind of cools everything down a little bit it's real you gotta be real careful for snakes when you're out poisonous snakes or actually venomous snakes uh because they when it gets cool they'll come out and look for little spots of sunshine and things like that to warm up so uh it's a little bit more dangerous i guess at, at it range around here anyways but i'm gonna look for tracks and stuff as well i think i found one when i first come in it looked like a uh, about a 10 inch juvenile uh could have possibly been a bear i'll have to examine the, uh, the picture a little bit more and, and really determine but i just want to let you know what i was doing i'm gonna head on hike on to the game cam and uh, if i find anything between here and there i'll uh, i'll uh, video it take pictures all right 10 four. all right i'm I'm here at the game cam, so I'm going to take it down and put up another one. See, uh, I'll see how many is on this one and stuff, if I caught anything. Uh, I did see some bear scat back there, but I don't know if it's how fresh it is. But uh, didn't see no other tracks coming on in. Seen a couple old washed out things, but who knows what it could have been. But I'm going to take this game cam down and put up another right fast. All right, Temple. All right, the next game cam is up, and it is working. Uh, the one I took down, the batteries were totally dead on it, so maybe that means it uh, got a lot of video. Uh, also, there's a couple of barred owls hooting back up in here too. I know that fools a lot of researchers, but I've been around long enough. I, I know what they are. Uh, but it, they responded after I'd done a few whoops that made them start going. So interesting. All right, I'm gonna hit it. All right, I found this break. It is approx approximately nine foot tall. Maybe nine foot tall. Just the top broke. So that's kind of interesting. I'm gonna look around a little bit more, see if I can find anything else. Maybe a natural occurrence or something. I don't know, but I don't. I know it's uh, Bigfoot does do that type of thing. All right, more looking. There's another top that's been twisted off. That's about only about six foot off the ground. So I'm gonna continue looking. Of course, I think I've showed you that one that's broke right there before. That could be wind damage or who knows. But still things to consider anyway. So let me look around just a little bit more. See what we can find. All right, guys. Found another tree break. It just looks like it ain't very old. It could, I mean, could possibly be wind damage. And it's unusual. It'd be like this. And it's close to this little creek right here. So. so that's just another little piece of puzzle, I guess. I'm going to circle on around in front of it. And of course, I've not seen any tracks or anything right through this area. So hard to say what exactly broke it. But uh, like I say, it's another little mystery. But I'm gonna circle on around and see if I can find anything else. Okay, guys, we didn't really, uh, I didn't really find a whole lot today. And but I mostly want to come get my game camera, set the other one up, uh, check out my foot, and check out the area a little bit out of the rain. Uh, I'm gonna go home and see what's on this game cam. Uh, I got some more video editing to do, of course. Uh, supposed to get up into the 90s again today. I may actually mow my grass even. I have to look at it when I get home, but uh, as you can see in behind me, it's a beautiful area. It's, see, I'm not, it's not like I'm standing in a park or something somewhere. But anywho, it's, uh, I'm in the forest, and this ain't a, a walking area or nothing like that. So, so uh, I guess I'll go ahead and call it a day. Head on back. Uh, find anything between here and the truck, I'll. Uh, I'll try to film it or take a picture of it. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.
All right, gang, this is day two. It's two days in a row I've been out looking around. Uh, I was coming out to here on my four wheel, getting to where I want to really want to go. I mean, this is the middle of nowhere, but getting to kind of where I want to go, and uh, the flies and the cobwebs are just killing me. So I rigged me up a uh, stick in front of my four wheeler to catch all the cobwebs. I used to have one there before. And I broke it somehow, I was probably just riding. And uh, but man, I sure missed it this morning. And so uh, I went ahead and broke me another stick off a dead limb over there and put it on there. You just get you a good long stick and wedge it down in there. And as you're driving along, it'll knock the cobwebs out in front of you. That way, you don't have to eat every one of them like I've been doing. But uh, I'm going to go on around this way and see what we can find. Hey guys, I just want to tell you a little bit about what I'm doing and uh, why I came out this way. Uh, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you you know it's not been too long ago that I was out this way. Well, uh, we had some pretty heavy rain the other day, and uh, and uh, so I know it'd be even it's even though it's a real muddy and wet area anyways. I know it would be where it rained it that would wiped out most of the other tracks, and uh, I could look for fresh fresh tracks on this road. The last time I was up here, I found several possible Bigfoot tracks and one Bigfoot possible Bigfoot handprint so that was the reason why I wanted to come back uh, this time I've not found a whole lot of stuff I found uh, quite a few deer tracks and turkey and things like that but I haven't found that I thought would be Bigfoot tracks but uh, beautiful area back through here See, there's plenty of mud but that's just a little bitty one there's I've come through some pretty rough areas but I'm going to continue on around through here. Not actually seeing any animals or anything like that. Uh, I heard some odd sounds, but I think it'll end up being uh, squirrels knocking nuts down. But, but I'm going to continue on around this road and see if I can find anything else. All right, in for it. 